Hello, this is James. Welcome to a special blog entry for today. I'm going to go over the current technology in film exhibition. As you see here, we have a film spinning around on a payout spool um, with this automatic spooling uh, spooler. It's actually quite an interesting device that automatically spools a whole film which is on one platter. And here's another film, a spare film on another platter. And here's the pay in spool where the film is going back onto a spool so it can be played again straight away after it's actually finished. And this is the platter, which is quite a, an ingenious invention where you can actually store multiple films and play them end to end. As soon as you finished, you can play it again. And as you can see here, it goes through a lot of um, rollers. This is, uh, uh, these are actually used to detect if the film breaks and to stop everything. And this is a special installation of a projector because I wanted to do this one especially because if you want, want to have a look, the projector is way up there. <laughs> and you can see how the film is being spooled such a long way. It must be very strong to pull all that film through all those rollers. But up there is the projector. We'll just do a zoom in and see if we can get some more information. You can see it just spinning up there and showing the film. It's quite a funky installation. It's quite old actually, but it's amazing what they do. And here in the rack, we have our amplifiers. We have all the buttons to control our masking, our lights, our hoist, curtains, etc. And of course, this one's quite special, so they have a, a monitor here to, so they can see what's going on because you know a bio, you can't see a view hole from down here. And then we have such things as the automation, the sound processor. Um, in this case, this is using a DTS system, um, which I'll go into in a minute. But uh, DTS has two CDs to store the sound on to send into the processor. Here we have the automation. This is basically where you write programs which run the whole system. So they change the curtain, start the film projector, um, start, start everything at the right order at the right time. So the complex thing that is getting film to screen all happens automatically. So yes, that's very quite interesting. Now let's have a look at the film itself. We'll go over here. And most people probably have seen this before, but this is a typical bit of film. And you can see up the top, the little black dots between the sprockets, that's the Dolby Digital. Now that's the Dolby SR, which is the squiggly lines, which is just additional sound. We've got the picture. And on this far side down the bottom where my thumb is, that's where the DTS time code information would be if DTS was available for this bit of film. It was which what that film over there that we looked at is using right now. So that's a, a quick overview of how film is put to screen in a cinema, uh, and which, to my in my perspective, this is a historic blog because this type of technology is soon to be outdone by digital. Thank you.